What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Jeff. I'm the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you don't know what we do at RDR, you can find a couple different ways. One, this YouTube channel. So if you do watch the video, please like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to that 10K mark, so we got some cool things coming. We hope we'll get us there. But uh, with your help, we will definitely get there to hit that 10K mark. You can also hit our website, rdrgear.com. You can see the products we manufacture that we sell on our website. So Fireland, chest rigs, plate carriers, Kydex, K9, you name it, you can find it there. And of course, our Facebook and Instagram, where I post a lot of the preview pictures of these reviews, uh, products we've done, custom one-off holster wraps, holster mods, etc. You can see that stuff there as well. So today's video, IWI Z15 AR pistol. This rifle was sent to us by IWI. Uh, they reached out to us last time we did the video on the full-size rifle, and they were kind enough to send us this one to review. When that review came out, a lot of you guys had commented on how you wanted to see the the 125, this one here. Um, I had tried to find one. I reached out to Jeremy at IWI, and they were awesome. Um, we're a very small channel, so I'm very grateful for any of the companies who want to work with us and send us a product to review, and it's just very gracious, and we appreciate that. Uh, this rifle, man, like the first one, this one today crushed it. Uh, this is... You know, I hate to use the current events of a lot of things that have happened in our country around this particular platform. So I think with this one coming in MSRP at $800, this rifle is feature packed. Uh, you literally, no lie, could get into this rifle and kit it fairly well for around 1200 bucks. And I'm talking a legitimate setup at 1200 bucks. Um, you could literally run a full new flash hider, red dot, some type of riser, magazines, upgraded trigger, and you have an SBA-3, so if your department allowed you to keep an SBA-3, keep it that way, or form one this thing into an SBR, and you would have a legitimate, legitimate rifle. Today, we shot this rifle this afternoon, and like I always try to do, I don't pre-shoot a lot of the product review. I just literally, <laughs> we take the gamble, um, we've had some, we've had good luck, cross our fingers, we've had good luck since day one, but I usually bring everything out, nothing done to them, we get them and we shoot them. Uh, today we zeroed, I zeroed the red dot with some 55 grain, and then we ran some distance drills, some holdover stuff, a couple, uh, some up, up drills, and then we ran it through with some 60 grain gold dot, um, that a lot of the agencies in the valley here use as a duty round for the rifles. Uh, that made a big difference in accuracy and group size when we shot this gun with that ammo. That really impressed me because, it, like I said, we had not shot it. There was nothing done to it. We put it out of the box. I put the dot on there. I put the sights on it just so we'd have something just in case. I put a sling mount on there, and we went to the races. And this thing did great. A uh, couple things I would notice today this afternoon. Rail got a little warm. Not a big deal. But other than that, it was a phenomenal rifle. A little bit about the Z15, or IWI as a whole, if you didn't know, they now have a full Pennsylvania-based U.S. facility for all IWI products uh, that are U.S. that they're going to build here. So this one here is a full rifle, soup to nuts, built in-house. Of course, things like the B5 pistol grip is not made by them, nor is the SBA3, but the rail, barrel, upper, lower, all that stuff is done by IWI, and then small parts, of course, are outsourced. But this is a US-based product for them, and this thing is every bit of the bang for buck you'd get from a much more expensive rifle that you might be in the 1100 to 1350, 14s. Uh, I literally can't say enough. I, I was very impressed. Um, I don't... I'm not a big 16 inch rifle fan. I, I have a handful of them, but I do really like 12.5 because I think 12.5 gives you just enough rail space to make this thing really comfortable to shoot. If you wanted to run a laser, if you're running night vision, um, uh, uh, contact pads for your weapon lights or lasers, the rail is super thin and super small, so it allows you to drive that gun in and move that rifle very easily. So again, the rail design is one of the things I really, really like. Um, I wish more rails were this narrow, but full M-Lock, 3, 6, and 9, uh, I'm just, 
enamored with how well this gun shot, considering what it costs. Um, a couple things I'm probably gonna do with this one. We're probably gonna do, actually, we're probably gonna do a, if you guys watched our recent PWS video, we did a base rifle, gathered some parts, and then brought you guys a final video with all the accessories I had chosen at that time. I have quite a few of the components left from extra that from that video. I do have the new Sierra 5 coming from Dead Air. So that one will be on this rifle and I'll probably do another follow-up video with the 12.5. I'll probably put this one in books, form one it. We probably won't keep the brace. I have, I'm gonna weigh that option. They don't own a brace rifle and even though being an 0702 manufacturer, I still legally can't travel with an SBR, and we've talked about that in a recent video, but as shitty as it is to be governed with our rights and ownership of these weapons, um, and with the current climate, maybe keeping a little bit more in compliance, just for the time being, might be something worthwhile to do. So maybe the SBA 3 stays, um, today I was very surprised. I didn't have any issue. I feel that there could have been a little bit of uh, more in the pocket because if you notice, the more you bring the rifle in, you'll see that flex. Now I feel the pressure into my shoulder because this is curving this direction. So that is my only complaint about a, a brace because it does do this, right? Um, if I had a bolt override and I had to mortar this thing, that's my, that's the one of the things that I really don't like about braces. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, if I had to do it, of course, and I probably should preface you guys too, that demo I just gave you with a mortar, this is the wrong procedure. It should be straight down on the buffer, not at an angle. So again, if you guys are gonna jump me in the comments, I just credited myself. So keep your comments to yourself. But at the end of the day, um, I love this thing, man. This is super, super well-built rifle. There's not a ton of reviews out there on them, um, but man, uh, there. I'll give you guys some more and we'll do some more things. And I'll, when we do the follow-up video, I'll give you guys some links on where to buy these at. But man, um, I was truly, truly impressed today. Um, and I wanna make sure you guys know that when if you're looking for a rifle, this is definitely a consideration. Uh, the Zion 15 12.5 AR pistol. And uh, again, man, if you guys see one of these and you're looking for a rifle, even if you already have one, get another one. This is a great way and you, we don't know how long these things are gonna be around. So um, I'm not saying go crazy and stockpile, you know, don't be that guy, but uh, spend your funds wisely, you know, but at the end of the day, if you've been on the fence about an AR-15, this one being in a pistol configuration would be an excellent option to get your feet wet with. And I don't think you'd go wrong with any of the accessories you would get to make this thing uh, yours. So thanks for watching guys. As always, we post two videos every week on either manufacturer, either review, either we buy. A big shout out to IWI. Thank you very much for the support on the channel. Till next time, be well, take care.